Alrighty guys, welcome back to Star Wars Review. Today is weekly Star Wars recap for May 3rd, 2021. So yeah, um, got some Bad Batch uh, stuff, and obviously today is May 3rd, the day before Star Wars Day. But uh, before I get into anything, let me jump into uh, new releases. Uh, several came out last week. Um, there's Thrawn and Sensei Greater Good, I haven't read that yet. Um, then the High Republic Starlight First Duty Part 2, I also haven't read that yet. And then Darth Vader Issue 11 came out, which I thought was just, eh. Um, it honestly might be my least favorite issue of the, uh, series so far, but, um, yeah. Anyways, coming out this week, we got a lot of cool new releases. Um, obviously, tomorrow on Star Wars Day, May 4th, Bad Batch Season 1, Episode 1 comes out. Um, there were some, uh, title, uh, leaks, um, which the first episode will be titled Aftermath, I believe. So, yeah, but I'll be doing a full review of this tomorrow, hopefully morning. Um, so, yeah, but also coming out is the, uh, Star Wars Insider Fiction Collection Volume 1, which has a lot of the, uh, Star Wars Insider short stories. Um, there's ones from... Legends, and it has the Legends banner on top, but there's also, uh, at least short stories from, you know, canon short stories also in it, so, it's a bit of a, both, but that'll come out tomorrow on May 4th also, and then War of the Bounty Hunters, uh, Alpha, uh, she, uh, comes out on May 5th, chat starts the brand new War of the Bounty Hunters crossover comic event series, and then, uh, the Higher Public Adventures issue 4 comes out on May 5th also, and then finally in the week, uh, the Bad Match Season 1, Episode 2, um, I believe this one was titled Cut and Run, comes out on May 7th. So yeah, which we'll be doing a review of that, and you know, all that except the uh, Insider Fiction Collection, I'll be doing reviews, don't know uh, when, but I, I, I might try to get the War of the Bounty Hunters out on Wednesday. Um, but a anyways, jumping into news first about some Bad Batch stuff. Um, there's been character posters and little teasers for the characters, um, have released for all the Bad Batch members. As of, uh, uh when I'm, uh, recording this, there's only been four, um, Hunter, Echo, um, Tech, and Crosshair. Um, so, and I assume Wrecker, a poster for him would have already been out by now. So, yeah, and I probably had them up on the screen, but yeah, the teasers, um, I don't know about the one with Wrecker, obviously. Um, also, there's been a few TV spots also. There has been really anything crazy new revealed. A couple new shots here and there, but, you know, nothing really worth mentioning too much. So, yeah, but, you know, like I said earlier about the titles, um, the first three episodes were, uh, like, leaked. Um, episode one, Aftermath, uh, which there's descriptions also, which... Or episode one, it was the clones of the Bad Batch find themselves in a changing galaxy after the Clone Wars. And then uh, episode two, like I said earlier, cut and run. Description that was uh, the Bad Batch visit an old contact. And then episode three, we'd be titled Replacements. And the description that says uh, the Batch gets stuck on a desolate moon. So yeah, I'm an old contact, and I would assume that's probably Rex. Um, because you know, we obviously know he'll be in it and whatnot, but um. Yeah. Anyways, uh, also another animated thing. Um, Matt Lantern, um, the voice actor of Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars Clone Wars, had an interview with, um, I believe it was Entertainment Weekly, where he said he's worked on something with Star Wars Animation, voicing Anakin again, so. And it's come, coming soon or something like that, so. Yeah. I don't know what that could be for. Could be the Bad Batch. Could be Visions. Could be another new animated series. Um, so yeah, maybe you're doing finishing up some old Clone Wars arts. That would be nice. <laughs> but I, I doubt that. Um, so yeah, obviously I don't know what that's for. Uh, you know, obviously he could be, uh, you know, trolling or something like that. But I doubt that. But uh, yeah. Um, Anyways, you know, tomorrow is May 4th, Star Wars Day. Um, and because of that, they're doing, uh, you know, Star Wars Day sales and whatnot. Uh, one sale I saw was in the ebook ver version of, uh, I Heart Belly Into the Dark will be, uh, 99 cents. So that's pretty good. But 
The reason I'm talking about this is because on an article, stars.com, about gaming sales and whatnot, they revealed that uh, Jedi Fallen Order will be getting a, a PS5 and uh, Xbox Series X slash S upgraded version coming later this year. So, yeah, and it'll be free if you already own a PS4, Xbox One version of Jedi Fallen Order. So, that's cool. But, uh, yeah, anyways, like, you know, tomorrow... And fourth, I'll be doing a review of Bad Batch Season 1. Um, I originally had more videos kind of planned for the entire week, but with, you know, Bad Batch coming out or Bad Yards coming out, I kind of decided to, you know, not do some of them, cut back a little. But uh, a few things, um, obviously I plan on doing a, like a um, movie ranking list. Uh, that might come out tomorrow, but um, yeah, and on... Fifth, um, Wednesday, I'll be doing a, uh, starting up a playthrough of Star Wars The Force Unleashed. So, yeah, um, and I might have other stuff, I don't know. Um, uh, we'll see, um, some stuff I might just, when I had originally planned, I might just do, uh, later in the month and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, but anyways... That's going to be for this week's weekly Star Wars recap. Um, but yeah, uh, I've been Star Wars, you know, catch you guys in the next one. Force 99, found and wiped out. The galaxy's a dangerous place to be.